Hello everyone, it's Jack from Visual Effects Hut. So today I'm going to be looking at skin shaders within Optane. So um, without further ado, let's jump in. So the reason I start with the light behind is just to make sure that I can get the perfect subsurface scattering behind the ears. Think of how intense that light is as well though, so it doesn't matter that it's peeking through the eyes a little bit. So we'll start with the subsurface first. So to get that you need a really good quality image map in the albedo first. Roughness map, normal. I've actually knocked it down a bit because it was a bit too intense. And a displacement if you have one, if you've done any ZBrush work. And then the big things really are having your transmission set to a subsurface colour and changing your medium to random walk. Random walk seems to be the best and fastest for skins um, and it does look quite realistic as well. So all I did was change the density to 280, 40 and 1. But by changing these values you can see that that's mega intense. Someone's got a see-through head. So you can just tweak these values until you get something that you're happy with. And think the younger the person as well, they probably have more translucent skin. And then I'll show you what radius does. So we just want it, it spreads it out a little bit, but we don't want that either. We do want it to be just one centimeter. So subtle with this effect is great. You can with the transmission as well. You can duplicate. We'll duplicate the albedo map and then we will use a colour correction and we can brighten that up change the saturation have a bit of contrast and use that to feed the transmission rather than the single colour So that's a bit yellow so we can change that by just playing with the hue and you can get more more variety I guess because this texture has got different shades on their ears it's definitely a lower number and you can probably create something that's probably a bit more realistic than just the one single colour so that's pretty much the shader side of things. Um, metallic and specular, sometimes I have it up. It depends on the face. If it's quite masculine, it's good to have a little bit of it, but realistically, that should be down. And specular, well, it depends on your roughness. So we've got that nice looking face. So what do we do now? Let's just light it and see what we've got. So that is my test light. I can just turn that off. Um, I created an underwater light, obviously now in caustics, little tiny fills. Because we've finished with that light now, we can shrink it down if we want to keep a backlight. Just let it focus on the eyes and then just let it do its render. Quick tutorial on pretty much how to use the random walk and get realistic skin shaders without doing too much work but it's important that you do introduce subsurface scattering and that your normal maps and your albedos are realistic otherwise the, the skin won't look good anyway so yeah hopefully you found it useful and I'll catch you on the next one